Welcome to another craft with DM Scotty. Great to have you with me. Today we're going to do a cool cauldron, but not only that, we're going to do a uh, fire pit that the cauldron is sitting on, a glowing fire pit made with a tea light. So really cool craft. I can't wait to show you guys this. Let's hit the table and start making those cauldrons and that fire pit. Yeah. <laughs> Hey crafters, to start this journey we're going to use these round wooden carved out shapes. Okay, I got the rather large ones because I'm doing a giant slayer and I needed some big cauldrons. So here we go, I'm going to take the round shape. The problem is it's round, I need it flat on the bottom so I'm going to run it across the sandpaper. See that works nicely, the wood's uh, pretty uh, soft and easy to get a, a flat bottom on there. Now I'm just going to glue it to a wooden button I had. You could really use anything uh, that would make a nice base for this. So let's glue that on. And perfect base. Easy to do. Nice. Okay, now I got some other shapes. Uh, here's some other like cauldron shapes I got. They had different sizes uh, and different styles. And I picked up some different ones because I wanted to make a bunch while I was doing this. Now I'm going to use these jewelry hoops. And these are going to be the handles for the cauldrons. So I'm just kind of, kind of, they're kind of a, a little askew. So I'm kind of, kind of bending back uh, just to a full circle there. And I'm going to use some cardstock and run it through the loop and just bend it over. And that'll be a nice uh, way to attach these to the cauldrons. So let's bend that over. And a few seconds is dry. Good to go. Sweet. Make all I need. I just glue them to the side of the pot by the cardstock. Nice. Easy to do, just on each side. And then just do it for the other ones too, the different shapes and sizes. There we go, easy. You can also get smaller hoops. Now I'm gonna kind of fill up the pot, right? Because I want stuff in these different various cauldrons. And I'll just kind of push some TP in there with some white glue. Kind of squish it around, let it dry. I'm not trying to push it down too far. I just want it, I want it to be uh, built up about to the rim. So easy to do, just a different shape and size pot. Same thing. Don't worry about having it perfect, we'll fix it later. All right, cool. Now what I'm gonna do is just squirt a little bit of glue in the bottom of these pots, or the cauldrons, because the surface tension will keep the glue in the holes and it'll fill those in, you won't see them when they dry. Now I've got a three quarter inch uh, piece of cardboard I've cut between the corrugation, I've scored between the corrugation so it bends. And I'm just gonna kind of wrap it around the tea light and uh, make sure it's measured correctly. Then I'll just hot glue that on. So super easy. Cool. So this will be the basis of the fire pit. Then I'm going to quarter inch strip here out of the same stuff and go around the top edge there. Measure it, trim it and glue it on. Couldn't be easier. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to fill in those corrugations so it looks like a uh, filled in top, you know, it looks like the top edge of the, of the fire pit, not corrugations. Cool. Now I'm going to reinforce that with some white glue, just in a watered down brush. Let it soak into the cardboard. Give it some strength. Easy to do, yeah. Cool. Nice. Now I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue around the light. You'll see why I'm going to do this in a sec. But I don't want glue to get in and ruin the light. So I'm going to put white uh, hot glue around that, let that dry. Now I'm going to put some white glue in around the light. 
okay? And I sealed it with the hot glue, so it shouldn't have a problem with any of the glue getting in there. But I don't want to cover the light. Now I'm going to put some uh, construction sand in there, let that dry. Now that dried, I'm going to cover up the light itself. Just some uh, masking tape. Because I'm going to spray paint this flat black, okay? And now that I've done that, I want to add my stone color. So I'm going to add some uh, gray, some pewter gray, and then I'll mix in some tan and uh, burnt sienna, and that'll give it like a nice different various variation on the rock texture, right? If you paint it gray, it just looks gray. It doesn't have any kind of variation like a rock. Cool. Looking good. Let it dry. Now I'm going to add some uh, highlight, and this is just a light gray and a sponge. And I kind of stipple around it. Pull up the highlights. Nice. Easy to do. Just making sure I'm getting in the side there. Now I'm going to paint uh, on the inside with a, with a yellow. Okay. And this will all make sense in a few minutes. Don't cover up the light. All right. Easy. Now that that's dried, I'm going to take my hot glue, and now I'm going to cover the light. But I'm going to fill in this whole thing, right? And I want a big glob of hot glue in there. Well, molten hot glue. And I'm going to put some of the construction sand on top of that while it's molten. And it'll kind of embed itself in there, right? Push it in a little bit. Nice. Okay, now look at this. We turn the light on, you'll be able to see the light through there. Isn't that cool? So now I've painted it. I've uh, got uh, some yellow on there, watered down yellow, and some orange. And if any comes off, just pull it off. And a little bit of red. So nice. Okay, now I've got my cauldrons. And uh, I spray painted them flat black. And you can see the glue filled in those holes nicely, right? Cool. But we're going to do one last thing to these guys. I'm going to kind of fill in the top with some hot glue, just kind of spiral around and get a nice uh, kind of texture on there, right? For what's cooking inside these things. And who only knows what that is? I don't know if I want to know. So then pull the uh, hot glue down from the edge. You can have it like kind of boiled over. Nice little effect there. Let me paint that. And cool. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to paint the pot and uh, or the cauldron, and I'm going to use a metallic black, and that'll give it a nice kind of um, iron look, right? Cast iron look. Neat. Now I'm going to use a regular black and just kind of drag it across the surface of my fire pit, and that'll look like some spent coals. I like that effect. And then kind of pull out from the edges, it'll look like some soot and burning on the edge of the, of the fire pit here. Nice. Really accentuates that uh, fire pit. Cool. Now I'm going to use this uh, grating. It's used for uh, needlepoint. And I got some black. And I'm going to trace around with a marker. And you think you wouldn't be able to see the marker very well. But you can see here that the marker is uh, glossy. And you can differentiate it from the uh, mesh. So let's cut that out in the circle that I traced. Put it on top. It's a little big. I'm going to cut it down just a tad. So just cut off some of the edge. And uh, yeah, just trim it as needed. So that makes some great mesh on there. Now I'm going to use a gun metal. And I'll just dry brush that on there. And it's already black, so you don't even have to paint it. Nice. Couldn't be easier. Now I'm going to put what's inside these pots. I'm using like a tan and a burnt sienna. Just make some kind of concoction in here. I'm going to drag the, uh, also uh, where I did the, uh, it's boiling over. Drag that on the edge of the pot. So, really cool. Nice. Now I'll use some green, whatever this green goo is in here cooking. Cool. Now here's the fire pit. And I'm going to glue the mesh uh, on top of it. With my E6000, you could use goop. I really like this for plastics and stuff. Wow, perfect. 
we'll let that dry. And then now for the uh, pots, I'm going to use some water-based uh, gloss, and this will seal the uh, tops of the cauldrons as well as make them look uh, wet, right? So there we go. We got everything. Let's head to the table and take a look at it. Here's our fire pit and cauldron. That effect is just so cool. I turned on the light so you could see it better. And uh, let's flip the light back on here. There we go. And take a look. So this is a cauldron. I think that really came out neat. I really like the uh, kind of metallic on there that gives it that uh, cast iron look. Here's another one without the boiling over. And uh, those are just really simple but effective. You know, look great. Uh, nice giant cauldron. And here's some other ones, the other shapes. And uh, they look really good too. Just the same effect, just the same techniques, just different shapes. So here's another one. I hate to think what's in that one. Ugh. <laughs> so very cool. So let's uh, take a look at the fire pit here. And I'm just really happy with it. That fire effect looks great. And the mesh, really cool. Nice texture on the uh, fire pit itself with the cardboard. Just easy to do. And uh, just really happy with that. I think it came out great. And uh, yeah, that effect just uh, knocks it out of the park. Really sells this. So very cool. You could use that for a lot of different things. And just your standard tea light. Just turn it off when you're done. And you're good to pack up and go. So see you next time on The Craft.